Yeah, so um, just a little tip about making arrows. You can probably see this arrow. It's quite nice. It's sort of pointing where it's supposed to. This one, not so much. It sort of is, you know, I could tidy it up. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide that mask and draw another one. So and this is a, it's taken me ages to discover this. So it might take you, you know, you're probably way ahead of me and you don't need this. But if you do, then this will be helpful. So what I tend to do is I don't care where the arrows are pointing to start with as you're drawing the mask. Because you, you're drawing the mask blind, as it were, aren't you? Now you can fiddle with the uh, transparency and things like that. But I find this is just as good and it's really quick. So get your freehand mask tool and click. So you know you want a couple of arrows. So that's one arrow. Then I'm going to have some sort of box. So don't worry, just you know, however many points that we'll, we'll count them later. Then another arrow, and again, not caring where it's pointing. And then I'm just going to join them up. So I haven't drawn an arrow at all. Okay, so these are just the pointy bits. Now I can edit point where I want to point. So I decide I'm going to highlight this red bit of fabric here. Can't think why. Um, and all I add is a couple of extra control points like that. Then I can drag the in between point. And it doesn't require much because that line is inherently pointing to that point, as is that line. And it's just a good way of making, you know, a kind of tidy arrow and then you know if you want to make a you know as i do a kind of circular box you can select whichever ones the difference between locked and unlocked curves by the way is so a locked curve is it you know you pull one of the handles and both sides change if i make that an unlocked curve and annoyingly it changes the the shape when you do that then they're independent and What's uh, interesting, sometimes it's quite tricky to actually make a straight line um, between curves. So you want this one to be straight and this to be curved. What you can do is just add a point there, but maybe you don't want an extra control point. So you just want this to be curved. Well, how are you going to do it? It's the control points that define whether it's a, a curved. So you want that to be an unlocked curve. And annoyingly, it's edited that. But what you can do is if you put that control point on the line then that is effectively straight even though it's not technically a straight line it's not technically linear but the effect is the same so that's just a couple of quick things that hopefully you'll find helpful